you know, God, we come before you in Jesus' name, and we remember the promises of old. We know we overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony and not loving our lives unto death. And we remember the testimony of William Penn, who spoke over Pennsylvania that it would be a seat of a nation in 1681, and it was. We uh, remember 1776, our Declaration of Independence, speaking God's truth and word over what would become the United States of America. That promise here in Pennsylvania in 1863, a new birth of freedom, that all men could be free, spoken by Abraham Lincoln, right in Gettysburg here. And in 2001, while our nation was attacked by terrorists, a strong Christian man from Cranberry, New Jersey, Todd Beamer, said, let's roll. God, I ask you that you help us roll in these dark times, that we fear not the darkness, that we will seize our Esther and Gideon moments, that we will stand in a gap, that when you say, who shall I send? We will say, send me and not him or her. We will take responsibility for our republic and not waver in these days and try our souls. I know we're surrounded by wickedness and fear and dithering and inaction, but that's not our problem. Our problem is following your lead. I pray, God, we'll have the favor of Esther, the discernment of Daniel, the heart of David, the courage of Joshua, double portion of Elisha, the wisdom of Solomon, and then we will fight this good fight for freedom. God, we stand on the testimony and shoulders of giants. I pray, God, that we will not waver in this time of need when a republic needs us most. God, you're calling forth modern-day Esthers and Gideons, and I pray that you'll give us the courage to do so. We think about, uh, and now Aaron and hers as well, we think about our elected officials in Pennsylvania who've been weak and feckless, and we've handed over our power to a governor who does disregards the freedoms of this republic. I pray that we'll take responsibility. We'll seize the power that, that we have given to us by the Constitution and as well by you, providentially. I pray for the leaders also in, in the federal government, God, on the 6th of January, that they will rise up with boldness. You'll bless these letters that President Trump asked me this morning to send to Mitch McConnell and Kevin McCarthy, outlining the fraud in Pennsylvania. And this will embolden them to stand firm and, and disregard what has happened in Pennsylvania until we have an investigation. God, we pray truth will go forth in victory and that your truth will go marching on. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Very powerful. Thank you so much, Senator, for those prayers and for standing uh, on behalf uh, of truth and righteousness 